Hey, Crafty Peas, it's Angel Holt with Angel Holt Designs. I'm feeling a little bit better from the flu, but I am still recovering. Um, I still feel, you know, not my best. But I wanted to bring you another project um, that is, I think it's going to turn out really amazing. Um, this is an altered paper mache book that can be found at creativewithdetailstore.com. And I have painted the inside of it with Prima's chalkboard paint called Eggshell. And uh, several, several, several months ago, and this video is on my YouTube, I showed you how to make this altered uh, bodice. Um, and then all I did was, was add some beautiful wings on the back. This is a Christmas ornament. And then this is going to set up or set in here um, like this so when you set the book up like this the dress is really going to be bellowing out so I'm really going to pay attention to the details on the inside I'm only going to lightly decorate the outside but it's all going to be about the details on the inside it's almost like a shadow box so um, that's what I want to do with that but I did teach you step by step on how to create um, this very uh, dress form and I'll put a link in the description box down below for you to watch and see how I did that okay alright so um, now since this is dry and done all I got to do now is um, paint the outside with the eggshell white and then I mean eggshell um, chalkboard paint from Prima and then I'll come back and we'll begin decorating with lovely laces and trims for creating with details store.com so see you in a few okay now the outside and the inside of the box is painted now this is a, a brown piece of tissue paper that I have and I've crumbled it up and I'm going to put it on the front of this box but I'm going to be using a um, Art Extrav uh, Extravagance uh, Texture Paste from Prima and this is the Clear Crackle um, because when I apply it I want it to crackle when I um, it's like a, a paste see and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly cover the entire box with this paste it doesn't take much at all and the thicker of course the thicker you put it on there the more of a crackle the less you put on there the less of a crackle um, so now I'm just going to put that on there like that and just go back over it with the crackle medium I am very excited that Prima is getting into the mixed media end of things. Um, like I've always said, Cinnabar is one of my most favorite designers. Um, and I just love it. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tear away. But I'm not going to get rid of those pieces because we can use them on the back as well. And if you tear some of the paper away from the box, that's good because you can just, you know, um, it just gives it more character. And like I said, I'm adding a lot of texture to the front of the box, but I'm not going to do a lot, n no more than uh, color and ink it because all of the attention is going to be inside the box. And that's where I want it um, to be. So when you set it on your table, um, that's what you're going to see. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip the box to its side here.
you can see here, the box is dry uh, with that crackle medium. Now, you can do one of two things. You can use a paint and uh, put some paint on there. You can use your uh, a, a spray like I would use my Lindy Stamp Game Sprays. Um, or you can use ink, which is your ink pad. But in this instance, I'm going to use um, some Lindy's. And I'm going to pick out a few colors here. Please bear with me. I'm going to pick out... Um, Some real pretty vintage colors I think will look good. Um, and I'm going to pick out maybe a, a gold tone. Now, I absolutely love um, Lindy's Stamp Gang Spray. Um, they're absolutely just uh, phenomenal in what they do. Um, and I picked out to give it more of a vintage look. I'm going to play with uh, Silhouette Silver and Steampunk Sepia. Now, I'm going to put this in my little tray here. So, now I'm going to try to spray this very lightly so it doesn't get on none of my. Put this up as a barrier. Okay, so it's very lightly and then I'm going to add a touch of the Long John Silver. Long, no, it's the Silhouette Silver. And now what you're just simply going to do is take it and you're going to heat gun it. And you're going to do that for all sides, including the back. And then you're going to dry it like this. And let the air move the product around um, into those crevices and everything. Because that also gives uh, it character as well.
now I've done both sides um, with a touch of the Mod Podge and um, the lace. That's basically what you're doing is just using your Mod Podge and your lace. And now what I want to do is I'm this lace is uh, found at um, Creating with Details store.com and now um, this beautiful piece here is just absolutely stunning and I like the fact of the netting okay and I'm going to show you a kind of like a a cool trick um, I've done this once before and uh, there's this new stuff in the store um, I think May is going to list it or um, has it listed. This is called Fancy Fiber. You press, stamp, cut, weave, sew, and wash it. Um, to make the non-woven uh, fabric, you preheat the iron or place a small amount between amount of one of many colors and between parchment paper and iron for three to five seconds. You use it as a background. You can cut it into shapes and everything. So, I'm going to try something. They say iron it, and I do have a little iron, but I'm wanting to see how this is going to work with um, just laying some in between fiber, uh, in between the layers of this. This is some neat stuff, and if it, um, I think it would be great for mixed media and all of that stuff and this one the one i'm using is called snowflake okay so i'm just gonna pull out oh yeah it's really fibrous yeah this will add a you know a whimsical look to the book just kind of Now, let's see, and I'm going to lay that right on top of there. I'm going to pull some of it away. Ooh, this is going to be fun to play with right here. I'm already liking it. And see, this is what you can do uh, with those uh, laces that we have that are really sheer. Um, we ha have that large piece of uh, tool there. Um, this could be something, you know, that you would want to try. Now, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to glue my parts to the ends. And then if it melts, I am going to um, kind of, you know, add a little, now I've never worked with this before, so this is the first time I've worked with this. And I'm just mod podging the ends of the lace here. And if some of the phrase, if some of it comes out, I'm about out of Mod Podge. I can't believe that. I'm almost out. No, 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 no. I don't want to be out. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to lift this up, add some here, then I'm going to see how this works. I'm going to add some heat gun to it. Let me go ahead and cut off what I don't need. Now what I'm wanting it to do is melt together with the mesh. That is what I want it to do. 
Hey, Danny, show my door, please. Yeah, I'll be there in just a minute. Okay. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to back it up here. And you know how mesh tears away when it's heated? It like burns away. Ooh, look. It melts. Oh my gosh, it melts. Oh, found a new medium. Oh, look, it just melted together with the mesh. You made a whole two. Look at that. This is too damn cool. I knew heat would do it. Uh, heat gun, heat gun. Heat gun. And look, all the little fibers, the extra fibers, they just melt away. And see, let's try this. I know, curiosity's killing the cat here. Let's just lay some of this fiber out onto the book without covering it. Oh my gosh. Melts it right on there. Look at that. It's like cotton candy in your mouth. It just melts away. But leaves beauty. Look at that texture. Isn't that gorgeous? See, this book here is um, angel themed, you know, because of my angel dress. So um, it has to look ethereal and. and whimsical and everything with lace oh yeah this stuff just look at that just whoop, look at that just that oh my gosh y'all got to get some of this the edges just go away there's no flyaways or nothing they just melt in with the they just melt in with the product that is flipping awesome Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut away um, the excess tool here. And since that fiber was melted, it cuts away like uh, fabric as well. Okay, then I'm going to cut right here. Oh yeah, we're gonna um, may need to get this in the store. This is gonna be awesome to work with. And see if you have like little sprigglies like that, just lingering like right there. Look. Just melt them away and have a nice day. Okay, so I'm going to um, I'm almost there, Danny. Um, I'm gonna do the the back and the sides and um, the front will be done. There we go. And see if we got extra fibers right there. We're just going to trim them up away. This stuff is awesome. It would make for great cards and all kinds of stuff. I mean, just whimsical. Whimsical. And see, now you can spray it with a different, I'm going to get a different leaning. But look at the texture in that. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. All right, so I'm going to do the sides and the back just as I did here and then I'll come back and uh, show you the finishing touches on the book itself and then we'll get ready to decorate the center okay I'm just finishing um, this part up this is the back of the book and um, 
we'll hit this last part with a heat gun and melt this down love this stuff it's like my new favorite medium i know it's probably been out for ages but you know there's tens of thousands of new products out there and um, until you pick it up and try it you know you're not going to know what all it can do so now what i'm just going to do is just snip away um, the excess lace see here okay then ah, drop my scissors okay But I'll put a link to the store um, in the description box down below. The store is called creatingwithdetailsstore.com. Okay. Now on this edge here, I'm just going to add a little more adhesive and then we'll dry it. Now, I'm just going to take my glue heat gun here and just go around the book completely to make sure I don't have any, you know, fibers poking out anywhere or because they, they melt away onto the book. Now the next step is I pulled out um, some different colors of Landy's and this time I pulled out Clam Bake Beige and Scantilizing, Scantilizing Silver. I'm going to shake these up rather well. All right. And now I'm going to use, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly spray the clam bake on here, just lightly, like that. Look at that, isn't it gorgeous? And then we'll put the silver on there. Do the same thing to all sides. Okay. I'm just going to set that book up like that. That would be a lot easier to apply the product. I like these little nifty trays. what you're going to do is you're going to heat it lightly with a heat gun and um, if you want you can add a few more fancy fiber a little bit more of the fancy fiber like this because it will stick to um... see how that just melts into the product it's amazing love this stuff it looks like it's wrapped in fairy webs you know like um, spider webs that sparkle I call them fairy webs um, that's what it reminds me of I'm just going to turn the book around like this Now, there's several things you can do to cover this edge right here. Like this was see, uh, pearls from a wedding dress, which is what I'm going to use. 
Um, this was along the bodice of the wedding dress. And May is going to be offering wedding dress pieces, like a little, I don't know how she's going to do it, but she's going to be um, cutting up wedding dresses and y'all can order pieces so that y'all can um, play along. Now I'm just going to use um, my hot glue gun here. This is the Detail Tip Hot Glue Gun. And it's in May's store at creatingwithdetailsstore.com uh, for $12.99, which is an awesome price. Okay. All right. Now we're just going to continue this process on the way down, pressing as we go. Yeah, grabbing wedding dresses and stuff is very smart because you can get a lot of product off of them. Lots of product. All right, now I'm just going to snip I figured that would happen. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of glue here to glue down that edge. There we go. All right. Nice clean edge there. Now the next thing um, I'm gonna do the back the same way. This back, and notice I have just a little bit of piece of spraying, and I'm using just my Tim Holtz scissors here to kind of clean up the edges of the lace. There we go. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I'll put it in the back. I think I'll just keep it in the front for now. Okay, so there's the book. Pretty much the cover done. Now we have to do the inside of the book. Now you can do that several ways. You can go in and be as elaborate as you are on the outside. Um, or you can, um, you know, you can uh, cover it with paper. And I have picked out some real pretty papers. Also, I'm going to put a photo of a fairy, a vintage fairy. And uh, I will most definitely tell you where that photo is. I'm going to go look on my Pinterest board and see if I can find a fairy photo. Good. I would call this a fairy wedding dress. Um, boudoir or something. Okay, now I have white gessoed um, the w uh, wings on both sides, and now I pulled out uh, what is called mold and paste. This is by Liquitex, and uh, this one's about it's seen better days. <laughs> now what I'm going to use this is a stencil by Prima. Um, this is the lace dolly stencil, and all I want to do is just simply take my palette knife here, and I'm going to run over I'm adding texture to those wings. So you want to scrape off as much as you can. Just like so. All right. 
Now you're just going to lift away and very gently scrape off any excess that you have on this and you'll want to wash this. Um, and now what I'm going to do is just lift this up and just take my palette knife and clean the edges. Also clean up from your table as well. This of course will be thrown away. Ugh. I, you know what? I don't know about y'all, but I will craft. I have like a three foot by four foot area here, and I will craft myself into a six by six. Don't ask me how I do it, but I do it every time. <laughs> all right now all you're going to do is clamp your mess here so you don't get it on your book um, and you can put this on the book I might do that um, but first I want to clean up my palette knife okay and now what you're going to do is just simply hit these with the heat gun to dry the molding paper um, all right, now what you want to do is just like if you see any little edges that are still rough, you can take your fingernail and uh, clean them up. Or you can take like a little pal, you, you know, a little knife or something to get in there and get all of those edges. And they come right off just like that. Okay. So, um, now what you're going to do, um, or what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to take a Prima ink and dab over the entire, um, wing so that it will, um, pick up the texture that I just applied to it. And I'm going to be using, uh, yeah, I'm going to use Attic Dust because I still want that, that light look to them and you'll see why in a moment. I love ink, Primus inks. They are just amazing. And they're coming out with, can you believe it? They're coming out with um, markers. <laughs> no, they posted that on Instagram. So, all right, now I'm going to take the uh, clam bake beige. And I'm going to spray these. Like that, and then I'm gonna heat gun these. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm gonna get a darker ink, and I'm gonna use. Uh, let's see, I don't want one. I'm gonna use teak wall. Yeah, it's called teak wall. And I'm just going to go around the edges of the wings like this. Just like that. Okay, you're going to do this for both of them. Can't do one without the other. Okay. All right. 
now I'm going to take what is called rub and buff is like this is like really popular amongst crafters and I was so pleased that I got to get some um, this one is called I mean it's not rub and buff Inca gold I'm sorry I'm so used to using rubber rubbing but yeah you got it <laughs> okay so um I'm going to use some rub buff and I'm just going to take it off the lid here because I don't think it needs that much. And I'm just going to buff. The wings here. I have, to be honest with you, this is the first time I've used Inca Gold. I've seen hundreds of people using it. I just didn't know if it left a residue or, you know, you just didn't know. But um, Fiona uses it tremendously. And um, her work comes out beautifully with it. So... Again, if you have any questions about any of the products I'm using, just let me know. And I will try my best to lead you in the right direction uh, to get those. Okay, so now I'm just going to return this lid. And I'm, for my, for my, sanity here. I'm just going to hit it with a heat gun so I so it'll set. <laughs> All right. And there are the wings. Now I'm going to get the book back out. Oh, let me put the lid on my Liquitex. The book come out beautifully, and as you can see, I softened the, you know, the look of that not being so, you know, dramatic. And in fact. Since my angel wings are silver, I'm going to do a little bit of silver buffing on um, all of this. So I should lift it out. Okay, so again, I'm just going to use what's in the lid. And, yep, I figured that much. Now again, this is like a boudoir for the angel dress. So it's like a little fairy angel dress. What I would think fairies would wear. Okay, and now I'm just going to rub some of this along the pearls here. Like so. And I might just put a little bit, you know, here or there. Like along the edges of the book. Like that. Okay, I'll do that on the other side here in a moment. No. I'm going to hit it with a heat gun.
All right, perfect. Um, now what I want to do while I have the ink of gold out, um, I'm going to do some areas that are exposed uh, by rubbing some of the ink of gold on them as well. I see it doesn't take much at all so this little thing will last you quite a while as long as you keep it where it doesn't dry out do along the bottom there as well Then, do along this area. There we go. Clean off my finger. Now I'm going to add the angel wings just like that to the front of the book. So add one there. This is kind of like a, you know, like a, a coat of armor in a way. It's kind of like a, this is a fairy or angels. And there you go. So that, my friends, is the finished book on the outside. Now, you'll have to wait for part two to understand what I'm going to do on the inside so I'm going to let this all dry completely and uh, once it has dr uh, dried then um, I will come back at part two and show you what I'm going to do on the inside stay for photos for detailed um, for the detailed photos of the texture and like always please like share and subscribe if you haven't done so already also please send your crafty friends my way i would love to meet and greet them and teach them and again if you have any questions let me know about any of the products that i've used the link to the description box for the store is creating with details store.com and all of that will be in the description box so until part two i'll see you then bye bye